Surprisingly, there are many cool military vehicles you can legally purchase, regardless of whether you are or were in the military or not. Many military buffs around the world who love everything weaponized would love to get their hands on a military vehicle for reasons best known to them. And the surprising thing is, there are many military vehicles you can actually and legally buy from the market. Immaterial of whether you are or were in the military or are a civilian. Defeats the whole purpose, perhaps, that these vehicles were made by private contractors out to make a profit. So selling to non-military personnel is a completely legal move for them to make more moolah. Some of them are also retired and abandoned ones refurbished by companies to sell to civilians. Of course, the vehicles come stripped of any weaponry and defense mechanisms to make them road legal, but still carry plenty of road presence with them. Just go through the list and see what kind of awesome military vehicles you don't have to be in the army to own. Number 15. SS-21 Scarab Missile Launcher Yes, you can truly buy a nuclear missile launcher. Remember though, it doesn't come with nuclear missiles, and unless you're a scheming Russian villain from a James Bond movie, you can't get them either. The SS-21 Scarab can be yours for $125,000 and was originally called the OTR-21 Tochka. Number 14. Paramount Marauder The Paramount Marauder is a multi-use military vehicle put into hard use by many militaries across the world as a vehicle of offense, rescue, and reconnaissance. However, a civilian version has been churned out since 2008 by its South African producer, minus all the sophisticated weaponry and defense mechanisms, thankfully cannot have people bombing each other at will. Number 13. Whiskey Class Submarine In case you have some $500,000 lying around a spare change and would love to own a piece of history that has the United States shaking in its boots, here's the Whiskey Class Submarine. It was retired from Russian service in the 90s, but it's hardy enough to still be operable today. You do need a license and the know-how, as well as more water than an Olympic-sized pool. Number 12. Mercedes-Benz G63 AMG 6x6 Unlike a dually, this one is a 6x6, and while you still cannot get the military version of the G63 AMG 6x6 on a military surplus market, you can get the civilian version just fine. It's based on the Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon, but is far bulkier and brutish, as well as being far more capable on any terrain but the luxury accoutrements are all there. Number 11. Teradyne Gurkha The soldiers of Nepal who served in the British Army were known as Gurkhas and lauded for their hardiness. There is still an Indian Army regiment for them and to pay homage, the Teradyne Corporation built the Teradyne Gurkha an armored vehicle on a Ford F-550 chassis, civilians can buy a new one for $700,000 in case their bank accounts have a death wish. Number 10. The Chieftain MK-10. The Chieftain MK-10 came into being in the 60s and was in the United Kingdom military until the 90s before it was finally outdated and retired. And so, if you want a tank, 
just for the sheer pleasure of being able to drive over things and obliterate them, you can have one of these de-weaponized, of course. Number 9. Renault Sherpa 2 As opposed to the Gurkhas, Sherpas are mountain climbing guides of Nepalese slash Tibetan descent, and the Renault Sherpa 2 is an homage to them, as well as direct competition to the Humvee. It has been in use with the French Army for recon and rescue missions since 2006, and there is enough surplus available for civilians to lay their hands on it. Number 8. DUKW The Duck is a classic military vehicle and was used in World War II from 1942 to 1945. It proved to be a rather versatile and useful vehicle, carrying payloads on land and water. Of course, top speed in water was only 6 miles per hour, and on land it was 60 miles per hour. But speed was never its goal. Many of these can be had refurbished by specialized companies selling to civilians. Number 7. GAZ Tiger Russians do know how to make a good military vehicle, and the GAZ Tiger was a great 4x4 vehicle used as recon, staff, and medical aid. Like the Paramount Marauder, this too can be purchased in various configurations and is easily available as an unarmored civilian vehicle for personal use if it strikes your fancy. Number 6. Oshkosh LATV Humvees are getting old so much so that they are positively geriatric. So the Department of Defense wants more and Oshkosh's LATV is a suitable replacement. The 6.6 liter Duramax engine is more than capable and this vehicle has numerous loading points for many weapons. Of course, an unarmored version is readily available for sale if driving beasts is more your game. Number 5. Alvis Stalwart The Stalwart was a 60s amphibious vehicle, meant to be unarmored and designed to only carry loads on water and land. Slower than the duck, it went 40 miles per hour on land and 7 on the water, though it looks far more comfortable. You can have this for some $20,000 in case driving on land and water at a snail speed is a hobby of yours. Number 4. Thales Hawkeye Made by Australia and no less effective, the Thales Hawkeye is a multi-purpose vehicle and can be customized in the military as a staff car, a troop carrier, a recon vehicle, or even as a command center for electronic warfare. The civilian version can be had in the US and Australia and is naturally stripped of anything that can go boom, including arrows. Number 3. BMY N23A2 5-ton 6x6 If the name sounds big and complicated, you have to take a look at this beast of a truck that can handle all sorts of tough terrain and keep lugging a payload till the end. While civilians can buy it for over $20,000, it is best used for commercial or heavy use and not a vehicle you would buy for fun unless you have football field sized parking. Number 2. 
number two. Stevenson M1079 LMTV 4x4. The U.S. Army needed a lightweight, cheap, and somewhat reliable utility vehicle in the 80s, and they chose the design from Stewart and Stevenson. Post 2012, Oshkosh took on the mantle. The current ATV is based on the Austrian Steyr 12M18 and can be had by civilians for just two to five thousand dollars. Number one, Kaiser Jeep M715. Before the Jeep became America's favorite off-roading brand, it used to be all about military vehicles. Under Kaiser then, the Kaiser Jeep M715 was an experience that no one ever forgot. If old army style jalopies are your style, you can get the Kaiser Jeep for as little as seven to eight thousand dollars in the market.